that gas? Does, a, so does the motel have a gas station? You guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and Why do we bring food? Ben? And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. I don't trust them, but it's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Mm -mm. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does the past is know? dead now. Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. It's not. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore. Ask me about it. I'm looking a little pale. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? No, not this time. It was an accident. It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. Yeah. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. True, it really doesn't. I'm sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. True. I uh, really appreciate that. I feel like he didn't purposely I mean, kill the guy. I think he might have accidentally killed him. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? How about you tell me, first of all... I don't trust these people. I don't look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. I'm not okay with him. We work as a group. All of us look yeah, we're not gonna specific. Why is asking There's so specific so details? Out there each other these Why is he asking days? who's the leader? I'm all about me and shit. Get out of here. People you got over there anyway. Change the subject. Well, the kid here is our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. We really need he asked. They're asking too many questions. To each other out. Way well, too many to specific questions. Like I said, we got See, this is why you don't trust white frankly, people coming out of the force. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but now it's. Getting... You think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Fuck you! You knew we were hungry, and you guys were keeping it up There's only two of them. Oh no, there's yeah, you know what? More. We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered. It's on the map. Let's just wait this out. Oh, Danny and whatever his name is. Fuck you! Jesus. Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus. Hey, go get his crossbow. Come on. We need that shit. They're not even that far off the road from your dairy. Look, go snatch up that crossbow. See, that's also a group you do not want to be in. Because that's some, that's some toxic shit right there. But I don't like these guys. They've been asking too much. Too many questions. Too much. And I, we haven't asked any of them. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Oh my god. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He moves around a lot, but if things the way they are, maybe we can convince him to stick around for a while. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's such a weirdo. <laughs> you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Why are you guys so focused on this? 
We all work together. Jesus. We've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Jesus. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. That bread? Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet, but we could bring her here. But we can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayer! Yeah, vet. but like, um, Maybe cattle vet come. is different from like a vet vet, well, you know? How about this? Like a well, house vet. It's different. All you hungry soldiers. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Danny looks like he's missing a couple why of brain cells. Back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here. Might want to take someone with you. Take Remember, Ben. Those roads can be dangerous. Take I can't Ben. Myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along? And Thank you. you. Take while. Ben. I feel like Ben would electrocute himself on the fence. Cause he's an idiot. Mark Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. Okay. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. It's too good to be true. Mark, it's too good. Play our cards right. This might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? I'm gonna make sure. Before we can think about bringing mm -hmm. our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But, but is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. So? Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working. And checking the fence perimeter sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. So what happens if they come up straight up to that fence? You know, that fence obviously is not electrocuted, electrocuted, electrified. So what have you found out? Oh, nothing yet. Like a good place to stay. I'll keep looking around. I I found out nothing. <laughs> my bad. I didn't know that's what you were for. Oh, I have the axe on me. Where? I don't know. Probably in my ass, apparently. I'm just gonna snoop all up in your sheet. See? Blind spots. You need to get rid of these trees. I mean, the, the crops could stay, but you need to get rid of the trees. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. I'll bet. How'd it break? Got busted the first day those things showed up. Thank God no one was on it at the time. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat. Mm -hmm. Some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Because you can fix a swing? Lee, come on now. Okay. Ooh, 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 shimmy, 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 shimmy. <laughs> Alrighty. We'll go up there eventually. What am I looking at over here? So you can throw a zombie on that thing. Or a person. There's a thing right next to it, Lee. Lee, there's a saw right there. Yeah, the whole dialogue for what? Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Lee over here always cutting stuff. And he just shoved it in his ass. Alrighty. Touch the fence, Lee. Touch it. Like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. That's it. Yep. 
Can't take any chances when it comes to safety. Look at the generator That's before I talk to him. Generator. You guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. <laughs> he said, boy, if you don't stop touching my shit. Fine. Fine. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the yeah, why is he asking so many what questions? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. It doesn't hurt to have something on you, though. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Mm. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. And we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. Yeah, we can I'll go do that. The northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Yeah. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. I still don't Let trust you. Y'all asking too many weird questions. Like, if... If we stayed here for the day, and then they asked us the question, like, the next day... Cool, cool. Whoa, hold on. The fist goes all the way out here? So how's the place look? But, yeah. Safe enough for us to stay? We can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy. But let's oh. see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. Yes. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. You're right. Well, Lord, I can ask him out. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. I doubt it. There's one. I was hit by a, uh, Ugh. a bow. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Disgusting. What do they do with the zombies, though? Once they just let them rot there? Because I don't see any other, like, zombies. Can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? It's useless without it's gas. useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas. Easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. Okay. That's all. Thanks, Thanks Mark. There's another one. I feel that. I see it. Oh, he's got his hands wrapped around that thing. See, this needs to be... There needs to be a support right there, because that's already a failure right there. See how she just hanging? With her little shorty shorts. Cut the arms off. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> and this one's burnt. Nope. Her hands just gonna chill as souvenirs. Christ. Can't stop thinking about dinner. Me too. Thanks for the rations. I'm thinking about bread. It's not easy. Not gonna lie. Kids, 
It's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they I hope so. food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. You think? How about we just chop him in half? Pull his l little help here? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. I like how Lee is like, I'm just gonna walk casually through this. The other guy's like, I'm gonna climb. Holy fuck! What just happened? Fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Oh shit! What the? Get to the gate. Oh my god! Oh my god! Mark. We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out. Um. Give us the food. Come on, we got Mark. Help me. Don't think I can't see you. Get closer. We had an agreement. Now you're oh, oh my God! So they had an agreement, and they went back on their agreement. We can't trust these people. Oh. We can't trust these people. Oh shit. No fuel. Of course. Grab the brick. No. Oh. The brick. The thing. If we can reach the gate. We can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah. The Shit hurts. Hey, hey, you can't shoot me. Hey. Oh, so they made a deal and they got they double crossed them. What happened? Zombie. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. I'm gonna have to move it. Where's our food, you asshole? Give us the food. No, he's a big boy. Mark, can you get closer to the vehicle? You've already been shot. He don't care. Pretty sure that arrow just went through Mark. God damn. <laughs> Jesus. That was gonna be a Get off me, boy. Get off me, boy. Meet my Tim's, boy. My Nikes. You okay? Yeah. Barely. Oh right my god, he coming! He coming! Let's get out of here. Come on, Mark. We gotta go, dude. You lucky sons of bitches. Go ahead and run. We ain't going nowhere. So we they double crossed somebody. We don't want none a part of that. Because they fucked up already. Lee, what's wrong? Uh, there was a goddamn ambush out there. Holy shit, are, are you okay? Bandits here? On our property? Yes. Oh my lord. What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama? Yeah. I'll be alright once it's out. God damn it hurts. Hey y'all. Mark. Oh my god, what happened? They Wasn't they not gonna text all the way in here? Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside <laughs> now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? Larry. We ran into some people on the way up here. Larry. Yes. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. 
Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Then why'd you stop giving them Listen, food? We may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come I'm ready. I'm ready now. Let's go. Pack your bags. Are you serious? Oh my god. Larry, Lily, I hate both of y'all. This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor in. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Kenny. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, mm. that's real charming, Dad. Where's you really coming? don't. Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope you kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Mm. Whoa, we didn't get to check over a job. Definitely tell they built this thing themselves. <laughs> hey, if it works, it works. You know what I'm saying? It's over here. Hello? Hello? If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in ships. If there's not enough room. Okay, I thought he was going to like open the door, but I guess he doesn't. Camp out here in ships. Mm -hmm. Lots of hay. Hmm. Enough of these might work as adequate cover for Meryl. Hey, can he push your son so f far and hard that he just flies into this electric fence? Because we could have been at another farm chilling, but because of him, we're not. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Mm-hmm. Well, who's over here? Oh, Larry. I don't... Mm -hmm. Look at him. Just look at look at him. Just looking. Oh, both of them over here. I just... I'm gonna talk to her first. At least, like, it's some kind of reasonable conversation. Oh, my God. I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? I hope so. I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. Yeah, I just changed the subject hella quick. What about her dad? It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. So he's the asshole. Does she like that too? Does he treat you like that too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes. I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just, Debatable. He's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much. And lost pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. So? And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably going to keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. Don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. I still don't like Larry. I don't care what his backstory is. Think having a little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now. To tell no, it's that's not. Right. Let's just wait for dinner, and then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. 
I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Could have ended up... Do I want to have that conversation? Have you... I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view. Having a wife and kid and everything. But gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. It might be a chance he has hey, to take though. Thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? I'm not gonna say anything. Deal! You don't have to say anything. You gave yourself away when you backed me up in front of Kenny, so thanks. I'm glad I didn't say anything there. Sometimes just not saying anything is good. I'm like, you know, I'm, you really guys gonna really gonna try to make me choose sides? I'm not. We're we all are trying our best. It's apocalypse. Like we're trying our best, literally. But Larry needs to back the fuck off, because if not, he's gonna catch these hands. Do I want to talk to Kenny and his boy? Oh, Clem, Clem. I'm talking to Clementine. Hey, Clem. Do you like the swing? Yeah. It's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Hell yeah. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine's Duck, visitor? get the hell off. All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. <sighs> what do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Mm -hmm. It does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, we? Yeah. I miss my family. It's a good to tell oh, her the I truth. Miss mine too. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? You're lucky out there. Have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Mm -hmm. We have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Oh my god. Don't worry. So cute. Safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right. Oh my god, too cute. Okay. They're too cute. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. Yeah. Two okay, F and duh, Q. Don't pop a gasket. Two F and Q. Hey, Haley, found anything interesting? I was talking to Andy a bit earlier. Doesn't sound like they have too many guns around. They rely mostly on the fence to keep them safe. So long as you're on this side, things are all right, provided the fence holds out. Well, that's the problem. When there's no more gas, there's no more fix. That's true. Well, it's good to know what we're working with here. Keep looking around. And let me know if you find anything else. Yeah. Hmm. I guess, uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here. I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food. And I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch them go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clouded. Oh, got a pretty clear head about this. that's not what I said. I was just agreeing that we need food. I didn't want to be like, ah. Uh. How you holding up? Oh, <laughs> Soon, on the way over here, I was getting dizzy, hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? No, well, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. I mm. hope you're right. Duck and Clementine deserve a better life than starving well, in that's a when you... crappy motel. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'd be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. True. Right. I'll see what I can find out. 
Um, he can also like still fix the RV, like go out every now and then, go try to fix that RV, then bring it back here. All right, come on, we're gonna go fix, we're gonna fight them bandits. Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. Yeah. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck Hell are you yeah. in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yes. Yeah. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. See over here. I'm going with the weirdo. Are you going <gasps> we never found her hat. I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. Shit, we never found her hat. Whenever we looked for her hat. Damn. She's gotta have her hat. Cute little hat. See anything? Not yet. He shut the hell up. <laughs> I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Found it. When did they become Navy SEALs? I don't think anyone's here. Oh, we don't creep. Stand on your guard. Stay on your guard. Charlotte. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tan. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Of course, and we're gonna steal it back. Indeed. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these recently. Nothing but fuels. Shit. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <sighs> I'll pass. What's that? Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. This is an odd and just doesn't sit right with me. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Why is he just standing there? Why he's why is he just staring at the tent? Can you help? 
Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Grab that and put it in your pocket. I don't trust these people. What's oh, the camera? What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. No. Battery's dead though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. Interesting. Why does he Oh, Yes, Lee, keep that shit in your I pocket. See you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. You guys just ask so many weird questions, and I don't fucking like it. Looks like they expected to be here a while. What's that? <gasps> For Clementine! Don't you fucking move! Shit! Put your guns down. I ain't going back. Why she got Clementine? Clementine ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Why are you alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. Why do you, say, why do you have Clementine's hat? Men who lived here. But it weren't safe. Not for me. And not for my girl. They didn't treat her nice. Not at all. They took her away into the woods tell me where and I begged them every way I could think they just laughed <laughs> so I killed them and I'm staying here till she comes back to me one way or another she'll come back now maybe you didn't hear me last time when I asked you sweet put your damn guns down you think I won't kill you I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice there's two of us right and very in your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. What do you Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What? What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right <laughs> through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Look, there's two of us and one of you. No matter what happens, one of us is gonna kill you. Like true. You could kill me. They couldn't kill me. They tried. Killing everywhere. Take all the dead folks you want. We'll make more. Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for us. Yeah. Oh, cause she was about to spill God some truth. That's why I shot her. You straight up murdered that woman. Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. No, she didn't. She had uh, my balls. So calm down. Thank you for shopping. Shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Ooh, she knows something. And that's what the video camera is for. 
Take that crossbow. I mean, why not? She knows something about them. She knows something and they're not good people. And she knows and that's what they're-